In this video, we're going to look at a Doom like I made in Unity. It features the classic movement, aiming, level design, pickups, and more. Let's begin! Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and this channel is all about helping you learn how to make your own games with in depth tutorials made by a professional indie game developer. So if you find the video helpful, consider subscribing. All right, so here let's check out the Doom like I made in Unity. I'm going to first showcase the game and then talk about how it was built. You can play it for yourself with the link in the description. In that page, you can also find links to all of the various elements that were used in making this game. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unity code monkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. All right, so let's check it out. So here I am with my player character and I made the design as close to the original Doom as possible. So for example, I can only aim left and right and not actually up and down. So I'm carrying a normal pistol and I can shoot. Now the level has a bunch of interesting doors and buttons that I can interact with. So this door in here can be opened by interacting with this button. I covered several ways of interacting with doors in another video. So in this case, I'm using the button interaction. So approach the button, press the button, and there you go, the door opens. So go through here and then we have another door. This one actually requires the red key, so first we need to find it. I made this one in the key door system video. So we go through this area and as you can see with the movement it also acts exactly like the original Doom. So there's the bouncing up and down of the camera as well as the weapon. All right, so we go through here. Now in here we have some nice targets. So I can aim and shoot in order to damage them, take down that one. And now there's no ammo, so pick up some more ammo and shoot this one. Then over here we have a nice lava pit. So if I go inside, there you go, my health starts going down, go outside and stops. And then a nice health pickup, so go in and my health is now back to normal. All right, then we go through here and we have another door. This one does not require a key, so I just approach and press the interact key in order to open it. Then go through and we have a very nice elevator. So press a button and there you go, the elevator starts going up and yep, now I'm on the second floor. And then over here is another interesting area with a bunch more targets. So we shoot them and that one as well. And there you go. Now here we have the red key. So pick it up and there you go in the UI. You can see that I have picked up the key, get some more ammo, go through, get some more health. And as we go through, there you go. We open the secret passage and now we're back in the original area. All right. So now from here we have the key so we can go back through here. And now with the key, we can open the door. And there you go, there's our nice trophy, and we pick it up, and there you go, we won the level. All right, awesome. So here is the game in action. It works pretty much exactly like the original Doom. So there's doors, keys, buttons, obstacles, enemies, ammo, shooting, and so on. Again, you can download the complete project files and try them out for yourself, so maybe use it as a starting point to make your own Doom-like. Now, if you like this type of content, do let me know in the comments what other genres you'd like to see me create. Okay, so now that we've played through the game, let's take a look and see how everything was made. All right, so here we are in the editor. Now let's first look at how the level was made. Now, first of all, a while ago, I started playing around with Unity snaps. In case you're not familiar, go check out that video. But essentially, there are packs of pre-made assets that are very easily snapped together. So using it, you can very easily build some nice 3D levels. So as I was playing around with snaps, that's when I thought, why don't I try to recreate Doom in Unity, since the classic game is all about 3D levels mixed with 2D sprites. So the entire level is built using Unity snaps, specifically the Serac pack, which has a very nice sci-fi look to it. There's a link in the description in case you want to pick it up. So you can see that the whole level is built up with these snappable objects. So each of them has a specific size and they easily snap together. Now, something very specific to Doom and those old school games is the moving and aiming. So here it is in game. First for the aiming, we only aim left and right and never actually up and down. So doing that is actually very simple. Here is the player character controller script. And over here, there's a function to handle the character look. And essentially all I'm doing is getting the axis raw of the horizontal mouse movement and we leave the Y at zero. Then we just normally rotate the transform. So here it is in game, I cannot look up or down, but I can look left and right. Now next is the camera and weapon wobble. Now the way that this is done is some simple animations. The weapon itself is actually an image on the UI, so here it is the UI. It is just a basic image with an animator component. And if we open it, we can look at all of our various animation states. 
So we have a basic idle, a weapon walking, and a weapon shoot. So it's a pretty simple animator. Then over here in the parameters, we have a boolean for is walking and a trigger for shoot. So again, here it is in game. Right now, the pistol is playing the idle animation, so just bouncing up and down. And as I start to walk, there you go, it goes from side to side. So just like that. And as I stop, it transitions back into idle. Then when I click, it simply triggers the trigger. And there you go, plays that simple animation. So that's the basic weapon animations. Then we also have the camera wobble. So right now it's static when it's idle, but as we start moving, you can see the camera bouncing up and down. So the way that it's done, it's pretty much the exact same thing, except it's an animator applied to the player camera. So as I move, it goes up and down, and as I stop, it reverts back to normal. So those two are some pretty essential things to getting this game feeling just right, just like the original Doom. Then right here we see a simple door, and then in here we have our nice button. Now I made a video covering several methods of interacting with doors, and here I'm using the exact same thing, but applied to 3D. So we have this button, and here in the editor we can see how the button is built. So it's just a simple game object, and inside we have the sprite, and then on the button we have the button interact script as well as a box leather set to trigger. So there's a button, and I'm controlling the player, and now I can press the interact key, and when I press that key, it looks for interactable objects that are near the player. So it tests for colliders near it, and since the button has a collider, if I'm inside and I press the interact button, so I press it, and there you go, the button changes and the door starts to open. So it's a very simple interaction and built in a very nice way. All I have is the button with a simple script that implements an interface and then a box collider set to trigger. So we open the door and we can go through it. All right, so now over here we have the second door. This one requires a key. Now I first made this system in the key door system video, then I converted it into 3D, which I also used in the FPS game that I made. So in here I'm using the exact same system. So without the key as I approach, nope, I cannot open the door. So I need the key. Now another thing about this level is the lights. So everything is lit pretty much just with the air lights. So here in the editor, first of all, we can see all of the ceiling. So let's hide the ceiling. So as I hide it, yep, there you go, we can see everything. And over here I have all my lights. And there you go, just like that, they are all area lights. So just place on the various positions and they'll lit accordingly. So they're all set to rectangle with a mixed mode and a slightly warmer temperature. Then we also have post-processing. So over here I have the post-processing volume and it's pretty simple, just some bloom, vignette and ambient occlusion. So as we look in game, for example, disable bloom, and there you go, the lights go down, so bloom looks pretty nice, and the vignette over there on the corners, just like that. And then ambient occlusion, which looks pretty nice. All right, so that's post-processing. Now let's go through here, and we have our second area. And then in here, we have our targets. Now, initially, I was going to recreate Doom as much as possible. So I really wanted to recreate the original game. However, as I was doing that, I quickly realized that that plan would require a ton of artwork, which is really not my strong point. So I would need to draw the enemies in various poses, draw a bunch of weapons, and so on and so on. So that's why in here the only enemy is this static shooting target, and there's only one weapon. Now the targets are static, but they are constantly looking at the camera, so I can only see the front of the target. And that one is done by a very simple script. Here it is, the rotate towards camera script. We simply grab the main camera, which is going to be the player camera. Then we just get the camera position, the position of this transform. We calculate the angle and simply rotate this transform. So it's pretty basic and makes it so that the sprite is always pointing towards the camera. Now the targets are also using a very nice health system. So it's pretty much the exact same script that I made on the very first video on this channel. So once again, that's the power of writing clean reusable code. So here I'm reusing something that I built over two years ago. So they have the health system, and let me just pick up some ammo. And as I shoot them, yep, there you go, you can see that the health bar updates. And they also have a tiny quick animation, so there you go, just bouncing back. And once they're done, yep, they get destroyed. And now for the player to actually handle the shooting, now in the game there's no aiming up and down. So the shooting is, instead of being just a direct raycast, it's actually a virtual box in front of the player testing for collisions. So as I shoot, it does a box cast, it looks for all the targets within that collider, and if it's a shooting target, then we damage it. So it's working pretty much exactly like the original Doom. Meaning that this would also hit objects in front of the player, but above it as it should since that's the original design. So that's how the player shoots and hits the targets. 
Then as you see, we also have some ammo. So the ammo is pretty simple. Here it is in the player character controller, just a basic integer counting the ammo. Then for the UI, it is shown as a simple text object. So here on the UI, there it is, the ammo text object. And it is handled by this game HUD script. And over here, you can see that we have a reference to the player character controller. So how the ammo text works is it simply subscribes to the on amount count change. So we're using events in order to update the UI. So we simply have the refresh and we update our ammo and our health count. So we're here on the player as we try to shoot some ammo, we lower the ammo count and we fire off the event. So everything is written in a very nice clean way using events. Now I covered events in detail in another video, so check the link in the description. Now the player handles pickups by checking for collisions. So we picked up some ammo and over here we have some health. So next to the health we have our lava. So this one is just some basic environmental damage. So as I step on it, there you go, my health goes down. As I go away, it stops going down. So it's some very basic environmental damage. And now for the lava itself, it's pretty simple. It's just a quad with a texture. And through code, the texture offset is constantly increasing. You could also do this with a custom shader rather than through code. And then for the visual, it's pretty basic. It's using the standard shader. Then we have just a texture tainted in red and we have an emission mat in order to give it that nice glow. So that's a lava with a nice script and a box collider set to trigger in order to damage the player. And then over here we have the health pickup. It's again pretty much the same simple thing. We just have a box collider set to trigger. So here I am with 174 health and as I approach the health pickup, there you go, I pick it up and the health updates. So again, it's using event. So over here the player has a on trigger enter and if we collide with a health pickup, we simply heal, we destroy the health pickup, and as we heal, we heal the health system, and then the health system itself fires off an event, and then the UI listens to that event and updates the UI. So there it is, that's the health in action. All right, so over here we have another door. Now this one is just a simple door, so there's no button or key. And again, this is using the interaction method that I covered in the other video. Like I said, those methods of interaction can be applied to anything, so first, in the beginning of this level, I applied it to a button, and over here I'm interacting directly with the door. So I just press my keyboard key, and there you go, the door is open. Then over here we have the elevator, which again is using the exact same interactable interface. So if I'm inside the elevator and I press the interact key, and there you go, it plays the animation and moves the elevator up. So I can press it again, and there you go, I start going back down. So it's just a simple animation triggered by the interactable interface. Okay, so then we go through here and we have some more targets and some more lava pits. And then over here we have the key. So as I approach it, there you go, I've picked up the key. And there you go, it shows up in the UI. Again, I cover the whole key door system in another video. Then I go through here, pick up some ammo, pick up some more health, and go down these stairs. And as I approach a collider, there you go, the secret door opens. And then I can go through the corridor. And now with the key, as I approach, yep, there you go, the key is consumed and the door is open. And with the door open, I can see my gold and ice star trophy. And now I can simply go through it and grab it in order to win the game. So that's the game in action and how it was made. You can download the complete project and try them out for yourself. Maybe use it as a starting point to make your own Doom like. And in that page, you can find links to all the other videos where I covered various systems in detail that I also showed here. So here is a very nice and simple Doom like. Do let me know in the comments what other genres you'd like to see me create. This video is made possible thanks to these awesome supporters. Go to patreon.com slash unitycodemonkey to get some perks and help keep the videos free for everyone. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com, subscribe to the channel for more Unity tutorials, post any questions you have in the comments, and I'll see you next time.